Hello, Internet, and today I'm going to show you how to type like a millennial. Now, right here, I have too much equipment for properly typing like a millennial. I've got a Model M keyboard and a big old tower. This is too much equipment because what you really need if you want to type like a millennial are a MacBook and the built-in keyboard. Or a Mac and a official, genuine Apple certified keyboard from Apple themselves. So, right here, I'm going to log into this computer. I chose this tower for a specific reason, because it nails that 90s vaporwave aesthetic look that is popular among millennials. I mean, these computers might too, but they don't do it as well as this one does. Um, because, let's be honest here, one thing about being a millennial is you gotta have this special aesthetic that nobody else has. And in this video, I've got it. So, I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna log in, and I'm gonna show you how to type. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna not use certain keys, and I'll show you which keys not to use. So, there's two keys right here. Shift and caps lock, which lights up a light over here. You do not want to use these two keys and for a good reason. Part of the way millennials type is you don't use capitalization unless you're caps locking entire words for emphasis. So people know just how literally awful garbage something is. Now you probably know I just said not to use the shift key. However, there are some exceptions. Case in point, if you want to type symbols. Now, when you're typing like a millennial, you got to use lots of symbols like um like the colon symbol or sometimes the dot symbol. And of course, you got to have the star symbol, you got to have the caret symbol, and of course you got to have the underlying symbol. So, I'm going to type like a millennial right now, like how they talk. I accidentally used a shift there, you're not supposed to do that. And you also have to use abbreviations a lot, like SU for Steven Universe. This is so that parents and normies will not be able to decipher your text. Now, as you can see, I just typed like a Tumblr user, but this is not enough. If you want to really get that millennial look down, you have to have the colors formatted differently. For example, you got to have, um, you have to make yours look either aesthetic like this is, or you have to make your page look like pink and and uh, white and whatnot, so it looks like a 2007-ish um, MySpace page from Hello Kitty fan. So, once you've done this, you also have to put your pronouns in, because after all, it's 2016, and everybody should have their own pronouns. And if you don't, well, just put your biological sex. And either way, if you put your pronouns, you show the world that you agree with this new Tumblr hip and trendy fad. So I'm going to put my pronouns as in. And then you got to like have a whole link to a page describing why you have your pronouns and why you're a bigoted piece of human garbage if you don't approve of these pronouns. And you get bonus points if you post a blog post about how you um, argued with your parents, even if it's made up, you have to make a blog post about yourself arguing with your parents about pronouns, because that's the cool thing to do. And maybe you should have like some sprite artwork, and th this works well enough because it's like vaporwave aesthetic sprite stuff. I mean, look at this. Look at these vaporwave aesthetic wallpapers. I mean, look at look at this. This is vaporwave aesthetic right here. 
and I get all these Vaporwave aesthetic wallpapers I can choose from. So I can, you know, check out my Vaporwave aesthetics. Because that, that's another cool thing that millennials love is aesthetic. You have to have that aesthetic. Because if you don't have that aesthetic, you're not a millennial. You're, you're just some corporation posing, trying to really pander to you guys. So right here I've got this uh, text window open. And I'm basically simulating a typical um, internet profile. So what you also got to do here is, um, what you got to do is you have to write in your profile about your favorite TV shows and cartoons because you're not a millennial if you don't watch cartoons so and you gotta use like abbreviations too and of course um, yeah you have to like use abbreviations as much as possible because if you don't, you're not a millennial. And now what you have to do is then you have to enter a few more times. And you have to write a whole long blog post about how much you don't like your parents. Now, I could do this, but this would drag on this video for way too long. So, let me just make a short one. So there you have it. I've just I've just simulated writing a blog post like a millennial. Now you have to do this and but you're not finished yet if you want to really type like a millennial. What you also have to do is you have to like add in all these um things to it. Like like I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna add in I'm gonna add in, yeah, there we go. I've added in some emotes. And you gotta have emojis too. You have to have as many emojis as possible. Because it's 2016, and if you're not, if you use emojis, you're a, you're a shitlord, and you're like not cool at all. Like, like, I bet you use an Android phone. Android's not cool, you know it's cool? Apple products. And then what you're also gonna lastly need if you wanna be like a popular millennial is you're gonna wanna like need one of these drawing tablets. Now this is a drawing tablet from Wacom. I got this for a few bucks, but if you get one of these, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with them. You can draw pixel art, you can draw art that imitates Steven Universe. And you can get all that stuff done easily with your computer. So what are you waiting for? Type like a millennial today and you'll be the coolest person around. Like, totally. Like, like it's 2016, come on. And if you don't do it that way, you're not cool at all. And you're probably a Trump voter and you're probably human garbage. So there. Now I'm gonna lock, the, now I'm gonna like go away from my computer. Here's a pro tip, always lock your computer. Because if you lock your computer, it makes it so Trump supporters can't hack into your system. So there you have it. I'm going, and I gotta run out to uh, I gotta run out to Taco Bell and get some. Uh, I gotta run out to Taco Bell now to get some uh, to get some tacos and burritos and some loaded grillers. So um, see you got see you beans. I'm sorry if I oppressed you with that um, fruity and slip. I'm going out to Taco Bell. So um, bye bye and click that subscribe button and click that retweet reblog button or else you're a um or else i'm going to like call the internet police on you